Hi everyone, thank you for watching. My name is Ivan Blasquez. I'm a certified personal trainer. And what I'd like to discuss in this video is my top three ways on how to naturally lower blood pressure. Number one is exercise. Um, exercising is probably the most effective and simplest way on how to lower blood pressure. Um, it's very important that we exercise and exercise does a multiple amount of good to our uh, just our total well-being. Particularly it does reduce stress. Um, it definitely clears the mind which can also, also reduce stress and then when you finish exercise and a lot of times this is, there's this term, it's concept, it's called post-exercise hypotension and what happens is, is your body, the blood pressure is lower after exercise which is good because it's a way of training your body to, to obviously um, you know what it feels like to have a normal blood pressure so when you exercise more you continually feed that signal okay so we can turn the tide if you struggle with elevated blood pressure and then also there's the um, the fact that um, in fact, there's a study that came out recently that looked at high intensity interval training and found that high intensity interval training was effective at lowering blood pressure. Uh, particularly, I find that the intensity of exercise and becoming uh, fitter uh, are great ways to, uh, to address this uh, or target this, this problem. It'll definitely reduce blood pressure. So, uh, and with exercise, you will also incur, independent of weight loss, in some cases a person will lose weight, in other cases they won't, right? But at least when you exercise, you are, you are um, improving your blood pressure through exercise. And then secondly, uh, if you look at the bottom of the page in the description here, there are studies that have shown that even in the midst of having hypertension or even prehypertension, exercise improves quality of life and reduces the risk of those um, health problems related to having um, elevated or, or, uh, or uh, high normal blood pressure. So, it's very important to be aware of that uh, because, again, if your blood pressure doesn't necessarily drop as much as you want or even if it doesn't, research has shown that exercise is still has favorable effects and it reduces the risk even with the risk factor. So even with other risk factors, exercise is good in, in, in all situations where, uh, even, you know, where there's an increased uh, risk of health problems. So definitely incorporate exercise. Number two is garlic uh, and raw garlic, okay? Raw garlic is a phenomenal natural uh, blood pressure lowering agent or food, I should say, uh, although it acts as an agent because it's unbelievable how effective it is. And this is based on research. Uh, it's tried and true and um, it's just an effective, uh, it's probably if it's if there's one food that I could pick out of all all the food that's all plant-based food or even any food it would be garlic, a phenomenal blood pressure and it and it, it's my, it's it's better than the supplement it's better than and this is my opinion it's better than supplementation with garlic it's better than cooked garlic raw garlic is by far a potent blood pressure lowering food. In fact, if you look at this link I'm just about to pop up, uh, is uh, actually my second most popular video on how to eat garlic raw and to attain those blood pressure alone benefits. Uh, there was a study that it was called, I believe it was called a clove a day um, or something like that. But basically, we've heard of the saying, uh, an apple a day will keep, keep the doctor away. Well, a clove a day will keep your blood pressure at bay. So uh, a raw clove. And in the video, I show how you can, how one can eat it raw and enjoy it, and, and not experience any of the burning or so forth that comes with eating a raw garlic clove, the burning of the throat, amongst other things. But okay, so moving on to number three, best way to naturally lower blood pressure is to eat more plant-based, um, particularly the use of vegetable juicing. Um, there are certain foods that are have natural blood pressure lowering effects. Um, there are certain fruits and vegetables. For instance, let me start with the fruits. There's watermelon. Watermelon contains L-citrulline, which is a precursor to the body's producing of L-arginine, 
and L-arginine is, is an amino acid that boosts nitric oxide levels. Nitric oxide is a molecule that causes the blood vessels in your body to vasodilate or expand. That reduces blood pressure. So when you nutritionally arm your body with, um, with watermelon, it's a great summer fruit, that's one food that is specifically been shown to have a blood pressure lowering effect. Now, uh, of course, it's recommended that we eat our fruits and vegetables, right? Uh, but there, as, as I'm getting ready to go into this list, there are certain fruits and vegetables that lower blood pressure. The second fruit that I, that I like that lowers blood pressure is pomegranate uh, seeds or the juice. Uh, potent, at, at potently effective at lowering blood pressure. So pomegranate juice is a, uh, or actually be better if you uh, get the pomegranate seeds and uh, particularly it's a winter fruit so it's available in the winter but the pomegranate juice I use it to make uh, my own like fruity or uh, sweet salad dressings and things of that nature. Um, phenomenal. So, uh, but just be aware that it is a, a juice, and any time you have a fruit juice, it's going to be higher in sugar because it concentrates those those uh, those calories. Okay. Um, so, uh, but those are the two fruits that I can think of, as well as apples um, uh, and, and so forth. But those are uh, the ones that are specifically been shown, and also berries. Berries are phenomenal at lowering blood pressure. Uh, berry, I mean, uh, blueberries strawberries, mainly blueberries, but also uh, really all berries. They're, they're some of the most nutrient dense, uh, and what I mean by nutrient dense is high antioxidant uh, containing uh, foods out there, plant-based foods, okay? Now, let's move on to vegetables. What are some of the vegetables that lower blood pressure? Well, I would say, obviously, as I mentioned, garlic is gonna be up there as number one. Uh, then you have, obviously, in the same family as garlic, the allium, the allium vegetable family, you have onions, okay? Again, eating these foods raw is important, okay? So find a way to eat them raw. For instance, with the garlic in the video, it's there, onions, I eat them raw because, um, I mean, you could cook them too, but again, you're gonna be losing some of that effect and the potency of those compounds that, uh, that really uh, need to be consumed in a raw state and particularly activated by cutting and slicing and crushing so that way you allow the air to to allow that enzymatic reaction to occur so those helpful compounds will be uh, available to your body, more bioavailable, okay? So, also some other vegetables are celery. Uh, I believe there's a study back then that showed that, um, it was more of an anecdotal, actually. It was uh, someone was suffering from blood pressure. Uh, I think it was like a doctor's family relative and uh, the person ate a lot of celery and it dramatically lowered the blood pressure and then there were some studies that came following that and showed that celery is effective at lowering blood pressure. Um, it was found that four stalks did the trick. Okay, so four celery stalks. Um, and then there's also cucumber, which I, I think celery is a little more effective. Cucumber is kind of up in the air. I, I think cucumber is a natural diuretic. Again, one of the main causes of elevated blood pressure is um, sodium retention or um, fluid retention from excess sodium. So uh, eating more plant-based and particularly fruits and vegetables along with legumes or beans as well as nuts and seeds and things of that nature will naturally increase your electrolyte balance particularly uh, when it comes to blood pressure regulation we're talking about mainly potassium and sodium but let's not forget magnesium it's also uh, very important as well as other nutrients that I'm uh, probably leaving out but uh, th those are the top three right there and fruits and vegetables are, are contain high amounts of potassium and magnesium as well as beans and nuts and seeds so um, so anyway, and, 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 and cucumber being a natural diuretic, again, it kind of naturally, you know, balances out the body and it helps. And, and foods that are, have natural diuretic properties also blood pressure lowering, okay? So um, parsley's in there as well because uh, it's a natural diuretic and it's just, it's a good source of vitamin C and it's just a phenomenal uh, vegetable. Um, of course, your leafy greens are going to be in there, kale, uh, collard greens, mustard greens, um, I find kale is probably one of the easiest ones to consume raw, uh, as well as uh, collard greens are a little more, uh, um, you know, I guess, what's the word, uh, a little more bitter. So, you know, it's a little more tricky to do that, although collard green wraps work great. And then mustard greens are tough. Th those are tough to eat raw, and you probably want to cook those. But I would say, but you're going to get the benefit from eating kale and collard greens along with other greens. Even romaine, le even romaine lettuce is great. It's underrated, actually. It's actually very nu nutritious. So, uh, but um, so it's eating more plant-based. But I also say getting a juicer. I think that 
a juicer is very important. Oh, and I'm leaving a very important vegetable out. Um, beets, red beets, have been uh, shown, sci uh, research has shown that they are uh, potently effective at lowering blood pressure. And not only that, and the, the premise to their lowering blood pressure is again, it's based on the, and um, it's based on their um, ability to naturally increase your body's nitric oxide levels, which again, is a molecule that expands the blood vessels. I also forgot about celery, it's a natural diuretic. So it has kind of a, uh, a two-sided benefit in that it has natural uh, blood pressure lowering, um, um, you know, a phyto phytochemical uh, or nutrient and it also uh, is a natural diuretic. So a lot of these foods uh, have multiple benefits, okay? Uh, cruciferous vegetables like broccoli, cauliflower, uh, are also, uh, and uh, kale's in that family as well, if I'm not mistaken, are, are effective at lowering blood pressure. Uh, but getting a juicer, a uh, slow juicer, fast juicer, okay, a juicer, um, will allow you to actually consume these things uh, a lot more effectively because instead of just taking the time to eat four stalks of celery or so forth, um, you can juice celery and you can juice beets and, um, and if you want to add some flavor, you can juice some apples with it. Uh, it's probably one of the easiest things to do to give it flavor is to go with an apple or maybe like a quarter or half a wedge of a lemon, your choice. But basically, uh, juicing is phenomenal at lower blood pressure. It concentrates the nutrition. And um, I also have a video on how to eat the pulp. Uh, yeah, so, so none of it goes to waste, but uh, yeah, basically, um, yeah, juicing is phenomenal. So I would say, uh, in summary, the top three ways on how to naturally lower blood pressure that are free of side effects, okay, uh, the problem with medications is, is that yes, they can drop the number down, but it's not really, it's empowering a person to not make a change in their lifestyle, positive change to improve their health and well-being, whereas these three ways empower a person to feel that sense of success and accomplishment, knowing that they were able to, and maybe that maybe you may be a, a person who's a stubborn blood pressure that doesn't change regardless of what you do. But if you do these three things, remember, even if your number doesn't come down at all, or if it comes down a little bit, in most cases it's gonna come down a little. For the rare cases where it's extreme and, you're, and the blood pressure is very stubborn, it may not budge. But remember, these three things will help regardless because they're gonna reduce the, um, the risk of heart disease and stroke and all those negative uh, risk factors that come from uh, the silent, it's known as a silent killer, uh, having elevated blood pressure because there's no immediate symptoms. Although some studies are, are anecdotally, uh, there's been talk of that there are some symptoms like having a headache and so forth. But I, I don't know if you can really hone in on that and concrete say it because it could be a coincidence, but sometimes it's correlated or associated. But for the most part, it's, it is known as a silent killer because there's really not many symptoms that come up until you actually experience those, um, until it's too late almost. So it's important to know what your number is, uh, you know, and have it, you know, monitored um, and to um, obviously just keep tabs on it, okay? And so hopefully this video is helpful to you. Just uh, you know, summarize again. Exercise is, is, is number one. It naturally lowers the blood pressure, uh, particularly if you exercise to um, you know uh, become fitter and, and, and really to reduce stress and to reduce uh, inherent muscle tension that could also clamp down on those blood vessels and increase pressure. Uh, and then again, if it doesn't bulge, if it doesn't change your blood pressure, it's going to reduce your uh, it's going to improve your health and reduce your risk of having heart disease and other uh, health problems. So exercise is kind of a win-win situation. There's nothing to lose by doing it. Number two is uh, garlic, raw garlic. It has to be raw. Um, of course, you know, yeah, something's better than nothing if you want to eat it cooked, that's fine too. Uh, eating it cooked is going to be helpful. You'll attain some of the benefits, but if, but if, but if you want to attain 100% of that blood pressure lowering effect, uh, raw is the best way to go. Um, number three is vegetable juice. Um, getting a juicer is going to be critical uh, and mainly just eating more plant-based. In fact, getting a juicer will encourage one to eat more plant-based, eat more fruits and vegetables. Um, I would say juice mainly uh, vegetables and maybe have a couple, uh, maybe have a, a little bit of fruit to give it the, 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 just that kick you need to, to make it palatable, to make it tasteful and so forth. But uh, again, when you start to see your blood pressure uh, improve and that number starts to um, normalize, uh, you're almost going to forget about you know the taste. It's almost like 
It's like when someone takes a blood pressure medication, it's tasteless. The medication doesn't taste good. You just pop the pill and you drink it, right? Well, look at, look at eating a clove of raw garlic as well as uh, vegetable juices like a natural medication with no side effects, right? You can't beat that. So hopefully this video was helpful to you and uh, feel free to leave comments. If you have any questions, you can leave those at the bottom as well. And thank you for watching.